Hi, my name is Virgil Ortiz. I'm from Coche de Pueblo, New Mexico. So the reason I picked this plate by Maria Martinez is I was really drawn to it because of the colors she used. Um, I believe they were the creators, originators of the of the black on black pottery in San Ildefonso. I love black. I think it's so totally standing the test of time. It looks contemporary. It could fit into any any museum, any gallery, and it's it really speaks to me on that level. The feather designs that are on there, I believe they had taken that from Membus, Membrous pottery. So that was like in the 1100s, I think, is when that first design was really recorded. But they brought it to the black, um, black pottery. They figured out a way how to fire this type of pottery, which is the polished black, and to really get that certain sheen to it that will stay shiny until today like it's amazing of how what kind of work they did and created and of course being innovative about it because they were the creators of the style just to see how they collaborated on this and um, they developed their own style they innovated they changed what they were making because before the black before they developed the black and black pottery they were doing more of the polychrome style that San Ildefonso is known for, as well as Cochiti. But for them to step out of the, think out of the box and create outside of the box is really amazing to see. To me, it's amazing that, or to read about their work is because they did innovate and they really did really push change in the pottery. And that's what I'm trying to do today also, because what they did was went, um, go from utilitarian pottery to folk art pottery but in my world it was the pieces from the 1800s from Kojiti that were folk art and then now I turned it into fine art so there's always a theme of really innovating and really pushing all the different subject matter of these style of pots that I can relate to in this pot plates are hard to make because they're vulnerable to cracking a lot um, you have to really watch it as it dries um, either put a weight on it or to put a little bit more temper into the piece so it doesn't shrink as fast and will crack but obviously they're masters at what they did and myself being as an artist i really appreciate this work because i really know the hard work that went into it and of course they did it with less resources than i do today and i know that they dug their own clay made their own paints the slips and I really relate to it different from uh, that a non-artist would because somebody would just see this piece and really like the style of it but they won't understand the amount of work that went into creating a piece like this so and to look at this piece I do know that um, Julian her husband was the painter of the pieces and with that collaboration is awesome to see how well they mesh together I know that Maria helped a lot of the other potters and artists within her Pueblo and that's just how close all the Pueblo people are, like including Kojiti. It's like we help one another. We're a big family. When different times in our, in our lives, all the different functions that go on with ceremonies, deaths and births or baptisms, we all pull together as a community and really help each other. So you can really see how she helped other people by signing her name on other people's um, artwork to help them and to bring attention to what all the other artists in her Pueblo were doing at that time. But like, I mean, how he paints is so incredible. He, I mean, it's so straight yeah. and it's so, it's so awesome. And you see pictures of them sitting on the ground outside, like really painting like that. Like they completely douse out the fire with the, with the manure. And that's what oxidizes it to look like that. But they had to take wagons to go collect their clay. They had to really I mean dedicate almost I don't know how long to go get the clay whereas we can just drive to the clay source um, we do a little bit of hiking to get to it because the trucks can't make it up to that high but for to really think about what they went through um, no electricity no running water they really had to you know heat up their potteries for the to put on the white clay sip outside I sometimes have to do that if I make a large piece that won't fit in the oven but for them to do on a daily basis like that is so amazing to me that you know I respect it so much and I'm very proud to be able to continue 
this tradition of making pottery.